Welcome to Red V TV, supported by A Star Recruitment for the 2022 season. And with 19 days to go, we all know the script, Kevin. It's Jake Wingfield. Jake Wingfield, our number 19, uh, proudly sponsored by LDM Slate Roofing, a roofing contractor's based in Lee for all of your roofing needs. It's like a really oh, bad oh, Wish oh. FM advert that used to be on. <laughs> when, when they couldn't afford a voiceover, so they got somebody like me to them. Somebody out the office to do it. Oh, good on them for getting behind uh, the lads this season, though. Good on them. Absolutely. They can get, listen, that. We, and do you know what? We won't charge them for our advertising services. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. But I have got a roof that needs fixing. If, listen, I'm you really know where to go. <laughs> yep, indeed. Um, it's easy to say Jake's gone under the radar a little bit, and you you, you could you could do a lazy um, lazy one here and say, oh, he's another one who needs to kick on in twenty twenty two. I don't think he does. I think he, he just needs to keep progressing the way he has done. He obviously made his, he had a big injury ACL injury um, in twenty nineteen. Comes back, makes his debut in twenty twenty. 2021 makes another eight appearances in the side. Um, this season, he'll be hoping for what, maybe 12, 13 appearances and, and kick on once again. Yeah, definitely. Um, did he get injured last year as well? Did he have a little spell out with injury as well last year? Um, but you're right. Um, he just needs to keep doing what he's doing. He needs to, it's almost like he needs to keep ahead of the lads who are coming through. Have that have that experience that he's got and use that to his advantage. Um, but the bits I've seen of him, he looks he's gonna want to get his match sharpness back. But it, that's it, he looks it looks a good player for me, Jake Wingfield. Yeah, and I think Christian Wool said at, at, at the end of 2020, he was uh, close to breaking into the squad, he was on the fringes of the 17. He's took his chance last season. He, he got a run of games in I think it was April, and then again towards the back end of the season. And that's contributed to, he might not have been in, in say, the, the team that played at Old Trafford, but it's contributed to allowing us to keep winning games, fill in where needed when we've had injuries, but equally keep players fresh for that title tilt. So players like J Jake Wingfield have been absolutely essential in our treble success. Yeah, you're exactly right though. That's it. It's not about the the seventeen who, who or sixteen as it might have been last year who took to the field at Old Trafford. Um, it is about the, the the supporting stars and the, and the ones who who come in and as you say make eight appearances and take the load off the lads when they're needed. Um, and that's it. He's, he's vital currently to to this season. But yeah, we've said it before. The second row is very very overpopulated in numbers. But Jake Wingfield's one of these who's a step above a couple of the lads we've already spoken about. And he is, he's, he's knocking on the door of that 17-man squad, isn't he? Yeah, I, I, you're quite right, Kev. He got um, an injury last season. I, I, you know, got, he got that run of games in April, then picked up an injury, which forced him to miss some time. And then obviously he came back into the side. Um, former Parramatta junior as well, as well as Blackbrook. Decent. Yeah, um, so he's got a good pedigree, hasn't he? He looks like he could become a player who becomes, a, again, a long-term fixture in that Saints side, um, staying in the in the tradition of, of local lads being in the team. And I think it's just important that he gets that game time again next season, and, and there will be a plan for him. There will, because he's, he's signed a deal until the end of 2023. So you'd imagine that there is the progression plan for him. Um, and as long as he keeps keeps hitting the markers that he needs to hit, then definitely, 100%, he is one of these. And listen, it, it must be tough for a lad who's, who's missed a lot through injury and then just, just picks up that injury last year and doesn't keep quite having the momentum there. And that's why I say he'll be looking for some good minutes, um, in, especially early on in the season, see what he can get, whether it is first-team reserves, dual reg, whatever, but getting minutes in his legs and being able to kind of keep himself sharp. So when he comes into the team, when he is needed, and we don't know when that'll be, it might be sooner rather than later, he's ready for his chance. 
And I think that's the most important thing for him this year to probably try and stay injury free and get that little bit of luck he needs. Um, but yeah, the future's bright. Um, and hopefully it'll be Saturday night and we like the way it moves, Jake Wingfield. Oh, you go with the puns on these, aren't you? Yeah, and do you know what? That sulfur player with no number on the back keeps invading every profile <laughs> that we do. <laughs> Should sign him up. I don't know why he keeps running away from the man with the ball as well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why sulfur are in such dire straits. Um, <laughs> so that's Jay Wingfield, our number 19 um, for the season. And we will be back tomorrow with A Star Recruitment's finest. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And Kev, for once, it didn't mean us. <laughs>